Hey guys, welcome to the Best Damn Toy Show. I'm here today at the Digital Universal Comics with Cat Jurkon, as always, the TMD. Todd McFarlane and his toy company got the license to DC, First the multiverse right. license. You're not gonna see anything from Mattel anymore. The packaging is sleek, it's nice. One thing about McFarlane and his toys, Spawn going back, his packaging was phenomenal. Impeccable right. packaging. I mean, you just fell in love with that packaging. You know, you're, it's, it was a great selling point throughout his Spawn days. And now this, you're dealing with superheroes, you're dealing with artwork. I mean, it's it's great. I like it. Action Comics 1000 and uh, Detective Comics 1000. Okay, so th these are Jim Lee designs then. Right. So Superman comes with fists, Batman comes with his grappling gun and a Batarang. And on the back, you'll see the A covers as well. Yeah, don't struggle. Here, it, I'll, I'll do it. It's okay. Cat's a pro when it comes to this. Are you guys stuff. being gentle with the packaging? Oh, look at well, that. we know how you treat the box. That is so yeah. sweet. You see how gentle he took it out? Jesus Christ. So, right off the bat, you'll see. Hey, you leave JC out of this. What's he got to do with it this is. packaging? <laughs> <laughs> this particular packaging is called anti-return packaging. Yes. <laughs> We're going to go with Batman, Joey. It's awesome. Not familiar with this era of Batman. Detective 1000 came out, was it last yeah. year? Last year. Yeah, yeah. so last year. So this is like, so. the, like the, the latest. Oh, the head's a little loose. No, it moves. Oh. It's like it's got... You can be like, mm, I wonder mm. what that is. What is that down there? Oh, look. Uh, Watch out for blindsight. Uh, oh, no, you can't blindsight me anymore, action figures, because I can see. <laughs> this is cool. Then we got Superman. Not a Superman fan, but I do like how metallic it is. Yeah, the metallic S on his chest. Yeah. I'm not a fan of this type of, of, of ab crunch, guys. You know, I like. I like the full on, uh, my, make my guy do squats. And it's also because the waist rotation is super limited now. It limits the posability. It may look better for paint applications because you don't have that third, you, you know, you have, the, usually with the ab crunch, you have the two lines on the side. The ball joint on the on the feet is wacky on the Superman. You said it's bulge? The, the, ball, the, ball, the ball joint? The ball joint, oh, on, ball his, joint. on his ankle. Oh. Yeah. So it's a little better. Like, let's see how it stands. It stands well. So oh, it looks like he broke it. Somebody broke it. It was yeah. dribbling. Looks like a brown broke his uh, ankle. Superman looks is pigeon toed. Yeah, it's a little, the, the rotation on this is a little, it's a little odd. Again, the best thing about McFarlane has always been the packaging. It looks good. The minute you take it apart, then you start seeing the flaws. I've heard people complain about the Fortnite figures because he does that six inch Fortnite figures. I've heard they fall apart and sometimes positioning them is not the best, but. Well, let me let me put it this way. I pulled out some Spawn uh, Reborn. I had a case in storage. It sat there for years. Um, I pulled out, I, I sold a couple of the, the big massive toy. Oh, yeah, right. right there. We opened the package. It fell apart out of the package. Wow. I literally lost money on two of them both of them i thought no this is it can't happen it was, it's opened just, the second one and the second one fell apart i just want to point out these seven. are seven inch figures they're not going to go in with the rest oh. of your figures if you if you want to put them in with the rest of your line so if you need a character it's not going to work because it's going to be bigger than your other characters that's you know? the only reason why i would have bought that one too if it would have went with the marvel legends but he's towering over them right so, and yeah. and just for perspective you know this is the original dc line fully well, yeah. yeah so but you see this has ab crunch you know i actually like these because the paint applications on them are not shiny yeah they're, they they're look, more like classic comic yeah, book looking right but this is a six inch figure you, you can see i mean i don't have to measure it for you guys but you can see the difference between them. An inch, yeah, yeah it, it, they're not going to fit together so it's an issue because you're going to have to collect the entire line of McFarlane multiverse figures if you're starting a collection. You can't just slide it in with the rest with of them. them. Well, what do you think, Joe? This is your first time like ever looking at a McFarlane figure, right? No. Or no. no? no you had other I've, I've been collecting McFarlane since the 90s. I, I so you had the Spawn figures? I had the Spawn. I had the Ozzy Osbourne figure. Right. He did have the whole metal yeah, line. Whole, yeah. He did Ozzy Osbourne, Kiss, um, Kiss uh, Metallica. Yeah. Um, I got all those figures. So what do you think of these as first um, foray into superheroes? You know, you know, I really like that Batman. Um, I do like kind of like the, I like pose. I like posability. This paint, like you said, the metallic on the S is really awesome. I keep wondering why there's no yellow S on the back of the cape. Um, I, I don't know if True. That's, I think that because that costume doesn't have it. I think that if there was a yellow S on the back of the cape, it'd make the figure pop a little bit more. But other than that, this figure is awesome. Got, he's got the curl. The yes, curl. the little the little curl's awesome. I don't like with this cape kind of limits what you can do with his arms. 
I always make jokes about McFarland figures that you're buying statues. Did you get the McFarland statue? Like, I've, I've, people have been pissed off. It's not a statue, it's a figure. And it's like, okay, it's a there's joke. There's not much you're gonna do with it. There's not much you can do with this, you know, like arm wise. We've done it every other episode. We're gonna do it again, Joey. What do you give these figures? I give these figures one thumbs up, one thumbs down. Thumbs up because they're awesome and, and a thumbs down because they're too tall for the Marvel Legends collection. Okay. I, I'm gonna go with the thumbs down on these. Just, just disappointed and you know, at 20 bucks a pop. We'll see how the sales go because I feel like sales are gonna determine what he does with these figures as well. But it just came out, we'll see what happens. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. You know the drill, smash that like button, subscribe to another subscriber, ring the bell if you already are, and we'll see you next week.